Super Monkey Ball is over 20 years old, and in today's video, I'm looking at its newest release, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. And this takes the classic levels from one and two and deluxe, as well as many, many games, and puts them together in a package. I am playing the Xbox Series X version, and this is going to be released on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, Nintendo Switch, and PC, and as well as PlayStation 5. You know, I'm a big Super Monkey Ball fan. I've played several of the releases over the years. It's kind of neat that they are offering this new package for modern consoles. Many people may have not experienced this classic back in the day. You know, I'm a big fan, you know, going back to the arcades, but I also really enjoyed the first release on Nintendo GameCube. And then I have the second one. And then on the Xbox and PlayStation 2, there was a Super Monkey Ball Deluxe, which had additional features and levels. So this is gonna be a first look. I'm gonna take a look at the game as well as the mini games and give you my thoughts. Here we go. Oh, it's so nice to see that logo. Nice to play a new Sega game. Can't believe it's 20 years old. This franchise spans many consoles and handhelds, and I know you have your favorites. And so here we go. This is the newest version, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Many different options in this game. There's the main game, which is uh, a lots of content, over 300 levels. The party games, which may be your favorite. There's costumes. There are missions. There's a point shop we can uh, alter how you look. Tons of different extra features in this game. Now, this is really important. You may have to adjust uh, several different control options here as some of the levels can get fairly challenging and you may have to tweak it here to get past it. And so it's really nice that they have that. And so here are the main characters that you have. You also have these uh, and they're just physical altercations. You can change your monkey to a console. It's kind of neat that the Dreamcast is there with the Saturn and the Game Gear. You know, uh, I really hope that Sega down the road remembers that there's fans of those consoles and offers more compilations of those games. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna just choose a character. It doesn't matter really who you play in the story mode. It's just a physical uh, difference. And I'm gonna just jump right into story mode, but there's tons of different ways to play the actual puzzle levels of this game. And you have to unlock them. It does take quite a bit. This is just a first look. I want to show you this game if you're not familiar with this game. It's kind of neat. And so you're essentially taking a monkey and you're going from start to finish in a, a, a nice 3D puzzle layout of each stage. And so very colorful and bright. There is a, a, a lot to see in these games and it looks really nice. The HD remake of the puzzle aspect of this game, the, the, the single story mode is great. Uh, I think the presentation is nice, it really looks nice in the Unity engine, I do believe is what they're using. And so, I uh, just wanted to show at the start, levels are pretty easy, takes, uh, you know, just kind of getting you acquainted with the controls as you collect bananas and then you exit to the goal and there's a time and you get points for uh, doing all sorts of things. And so there's a ranking system as well. There's online leaderboards, I do believe. And so here we go. Just showing you a couple of the levels where they're pretty straightforward. They do get fairly challenging and there's a lot of challenges on collecting multiple bananas. And one nice thing about this version is that you quickly go back and start it over with. Uh, previous versions of this, it took a bit to restart a level, so I really like this. Now, as this game progresses, you are going to have to tweak that camera. The camera can be frustrating on some levels, and you're gonna have to tweak the sensitivity of the controller in the previous menu that I showed you. Now, these are pretty straightforward levels. Uh, you know, there is a challenge of getting all the bananas on each stage, or getting as many bananas as possible. There's different ways of doing that. Um, Speedrunners are gonna have a blast with this game. There's so many different ways of beating each stage. Each stage has its own kind of uniqueness. And so uh, I really enjoyed 
what they did with that. I, you know, the main story mode for some is going to be everything that you're going to play. For others, it's going to be the multiplayer, and I'm going to get to that later in this first look. And so uh, this is a stage where there's many different ways where you can beat it and collect bananas. Uh, I just pretty much was just trying to go straight forward to the goal just to see how many levels I could share with you, uh, at least for the beginning. And so there is uh, really a lot of content to this game. Now, there's costumes here. You can accessorize your character with different hats and clothes, and you can use the points that you unlock with the various game modes, and you can accessorize your character. So this is what this is, and wanted to share some of that. Um, it's, it's cool that it has some hats there. Uh, I wonder if Sega is going to be offering those hats in physical form. Here's some more customization options. You can even unlock the character Sonic and Tails. And I think that's pretty neat. There's going to be some fans out there who are going to really enjoy that. Uh, and it really feels at home, too, with this game, too. So uh, really neat that Sega included that extra uh, physical alteration. Um, doesn't really do anything for the gameplay. And so here are the multiplayer games. We're going to jump right into Monkey Race. Rest assured, and many people want to know this, there is local four-player co-op. Okay, that's really important. So for party games, this is going to be a hit for many people. Uh, Monkey Race uh, definitely is kind of uh, their take on Mario Kart. And so uh, not a bad game. Uh, I really enjoy this. And that uh, single player, you can still race against the computers. And, you know, it's, it's good. It's colorful. Uh, you know, definitely kind of has that Mario Kart feel. And there's various stages and different things to unlock. And so I, I, I enjoy this. Uh, this is one of the many games that I still think holds up. I think there's going to be a lot of people that will like this mini game. Uh, one of the better options of this package for mini games. Another popular mini game is Monkey Fight. And this is uh, a blast to play. If you haven't played this before, you're essentially trying to knock your opponent off the stage. There's various power ups that you can get. And I, I have some happy memories of playing this and it, it is still just a blast to play. They didn't mess with it. Um, it it's just a lot of fun. To, to try to knock off your opponent. If, and then if you become the champion or the king, you get a crown above your head, which also means you're a big target to other players. This is gonna be a fan favorite and one of the better mini games offered in this package. For many out there, Monkey Target is gonna be the number one thing that they're gonna wanna play for multiplayer games. It's got the formation mode and normal, uh, where you're controlling a single, Monkey, uh, I played this so much on the Nintendo GameCube, uh, it, it's 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 ridiculous. And so I was really excited about this being included, and I wanted them to get it right. And so, unfortunately, this is my least favorite mini game now on this new package. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was fully play tested, but the physics and the control in this mini game are awful. Um, I really was disappointed with this mini game as I tried over and over and over again to try to figure out the controls. Uh, I don't think the advice is great. And I you know it didn't matter what I did, this does not feel right whatsoever. I was completely disappointed with what they did with Monkey Target. Total missed opportunity there's so many happy memories of playing the gamecube version which had excellent controls the control in this mini game is just broken i don't know if it was the engine they were using making this game but it was just frustrating seeing one of my favorite mini games of the monkey ball series and it just isn't that much fun to play uh, it's going to be very challenging for people to land even on a target. Good luck. You know, I even went back and tried playing this mini game over and over again to figure out the control. And it just is so different than the original releases. I think many people are going to be extremely frustrated. Very disappointing to see this. Another mini game from the original that I'm happy to see on this bundle is 
Monkey Billiards. This is another one in which I would just relax and chill with friends and play. And the good news is it plays just as good as the original. I really like this mini game. And even though I was really disappointed with Monkey Target, it's these other mini games that really make this a solid package, especially for a multiplayer game. You're gonna be right at home. If you like pool, this is a well done mini game. You know, this could be its own game really with, with uh, how well it's done. And I really enjoy what I played so far and they didn't mess with it too much. And it takes me back to the original. Great job. Next up is Monkey Bowling, and I don't think this controls as good as some of the other mini games. Um, I tried really getting into it, and there is a lot of skill that comes with this mini game, as you're not just throwing the ball down the lane. There's like a, a spin that you can do on the ball, and it really adds kind of a layer of difficulty to it. And so, uh, you know, there's going to be fans out there who are going to love this. Uh, it looks great. Um, I just, the control seemed just a little bit off. I couldn't get the finesse on the balls uh, as I was, you know, bowling. But, you know, I think if I played this more, I'd probably get more of the hang of it. You may enjoy this, but this was definitely not my favorite. Fallout. You know, if you're like me, Golf is kind of something that you play mostly in video games and occasionally and not real serious. And so I really love that the, one of the mini games is Monkey Golf as it kind of reminds me of kind of like a, a miniature golf game, a lot of fun. And I think it's it has simplistic control, but there is a lot of skill that can be uh, in this game, especially if you want to par or birdie each course. I really like this mini game i think they did a good job with it and one of the better ones offered in this bundle for golf fans out there i think you're going to be happy with what they did here i think behind monkey target monkey boat is probably my least favorite of the mini games luckily there's other mini games that make up for it that are quite a blast to play um i don't know i don't know what it is about this mini game i just thought that monkey race was much better when it came to like a racing game and so you're in uh, kind of you're on a banana it's kind of like a kayak style boat game and you're you're you know you launching items at opponents I just didn't think it was that fun to play I thought monkey race was a lot better another one of my mini games that I didn't prefer is monkey shot and and part of it is I just didn't find it uh, quite exhilarating I found it more of a chore of playing this mini game it definitely wasn't my favorite as you know the graphically it looks stunning but, you know, it just wasn't that much fun to play, especially just, uh, you know, going back to old light gun games, you know, using a controller for these types of games just doesn't work for me at all. Monkey Dogfight, this is a fun multiplayer game. I definitely could see this being really popular if you're playing with a local opponent. I could see some people really getting into this as you fly around. Uh, you know, again, this this entire uh, package has really nice graphics. They did a good job. This seems to control better than Monkey Target as well. It's really strange uh, how they kind of drop the ball. I <laughs> get that uh, with that mini game, but this one seems right. And so I really think that there's going to be some people that love this mini game. I think this is from the second Super Monkey Ball 2, and you're going to feel right at home here. Quite a bit to enjoy. This is going to be one that's going to be fun to play with other opponents. A nice and smart idea to offer the most played sport as a mini game, and that's Monkey Soccer. And this one surprised me. I really enjoyed this one, and one I hadn't played a ton of before. It's well done. It's got great control. I think there's going to be many soccer fans that are going to love to play this. You know, and for many out there, you may not be a big sports fan, but you'll play something like this, where it's kind of a sports game. What I like about this $40 game is there's so many mini games that actually you're going to maybe uh, play more than the actual game itself. And, and Monkey Soccer is one of the better games. Growing up playing lots of baseball and enjoying many baseball games, I wanted to check out Monkey Baseball, another game I didn't play a ton of when it came out in its original release. 
I think this one is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, there's this like item wheel thing that, that randomly has things appear on the play field or adjust things, making home runs easier to hit. I really like what they did here. You know, uh, the control to me is going to take something to get used to. But once that's figured out, it's kind of going to be in the same category as bowling. Uh, this one is less more of a pick up and play. But I think once you figure out the control and how to hit, it is going to be a lot of fun for many people. Uh, is it as fun as some of the other mini games? No, I don't think it's bad though. I think it's something that's just going to take a little bit to adjust to the control. And you know, I can't really compare it to the original because I didn't play the original mini game as much. But I found myself kind of getting into this, and I could see baseball fans enjoying it. Last and definitely not least is monkey tennis. Now for tennis fans or maybe people that love simplistic games such as Pong going back to the days of the 70s or even early 80s, uh, you know, monkey tennis is not bad. Uh, one of the games that I had uh, took a little bit to get the control down, especially returning like, you know, fast serves, but I think there's a lot to enjoy here. And you know, it's a perfect mini game where it's, it's somewhat limited with options, but I think it's gonna appeal to people that just wanna check out and play kind of a fun little multiplayer mini game. Uh, wasn't my favorite, it definitely wasn't the worst. It's gonna get kind of lost in the shuffle. I definitely am gonna play other mini games over this, but if you're a fan of tennis games, you may check it out. Uh, for me, I'm gonna pass and play some other mini games instead. So, I do think this package has a lot to offer, and if you're into the main mode of this game, you're gonna like it, I think, overall. It's got great visuals. Uh, there is some challenges, there is some camera issues, and as the difficulty spikes in this game, you may have to play a level over and over again as you know, some of the levels get really challenging. I do like the unlockables. I like that whatever you do in this game, you can earn uh, currency and then buy things in the store. Uh, that's pretty cool. And that, that motivates people to play again and again. As for the multiplayer games, I think some are hit and miss. You know, I have such a strong connection to Monkey Target and it's a very small part of this entire package. But it is very frustrating to see how much they changed it and not for the better. That may impact some people out there and determine whether or not you want to check this out. Uh, you know, overall, I think it's a solid package, but you know, that one part is really just kind of nagging at me and just saying, gosh, I, I don't know. So I've been doing some first looks at some games, new games coming out on platforms. You may want to check those out. The links will be below for those. And as always, I want to thank everybody for coming to my channel as I'm enjoying doing these videos and sharing new games with you. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, you may want to hit that like and subscribe button and click the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.